Oh, stop. Ah, then stop a danger by me. I'm, I'm, I'm actually stuck. <laughs> the joke's over. I can't get my head out. Ow! <laughs> oh my god. I'm never doing that again. Hello and welcome to another evening of bulking and I have an enormous package. For muscle food in the back of my car. Look at the size of that, it's freaking huge, there's bloody loads in it. I think it's like the heaviest one I've ever got, like it's honestly weighs quite a lot, it took me quite a lot, took quite a lot out of me carrying it from the, to the car, it was quite embarrassing I'll be honest. Um, all the other day, I think it's predominantly meat. There's quite a lot of crap in there. It should be quite exciting. I'll open it when I get home. As we speak, I'm sat outside the gym eating a racer, which as you 99.9% .9 you should know is Aldi's version of a Snickers. Um, be honest, gone off it a bit because I've eaten about 50 million of them in my lifetime, but it's okay. Um, I'm doing squats and bench press in a minute. Uh, and then a little bit of a kind of push body work, bodybuilding workout afterwards, but like super brief. Still not 100%, I'm almost 100%, but I've still got a kind of a tail end of, uh, of, of a cold, so it's a little bit annoying in terms of breathing and stuff. My training this week has sucked because I just still haven't been 100%, but I should, towards the end of this week and then into next week, I should be good to go, so that should start to pick up. Anyway, let's go in, get it done, and then we can uh, look at my package. <laughs> done and you're probably wondering where am I well on the freaking beach why the hell not I thought rather than uh, tell you how the session was from the car um, I thought I'd come to the beach I literally live two seconds over there um, and if you don't watch my channel that frequently you probably wouldn't even know that because I rarely show it and I figured why not I live literally on the beach it's really freaking cool if I to show you like look how awesome and just Serene this is. I should definitely film from this location more often because it's freaking cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I thought I'd just kind of swing by quickly. Anyway, uh, training, <coughs> as I thought it might, still kind of sucked a bit. I'm, I'm feeling better, like I feel today is the most kind of normal I've felt in about a week now. Um, I'm still not 100%, but I'm definitely getting there. Um, squats, you may have noticed if you are eagle-eyed that I wasn't wearing any knee sleeves. Now, that is basically because I'm an idiot, and if you watch my... Um, a video where I talk about my upcoming competition in a different federation. I did not scope out the federation sufficiently and what I didn't realise is that in their raw category uh, you are not allowed to wear knee sleeves. So if I want to wear my knee sleeves I've got to compete in the raw with wraps category. So I've either got to go no sleeves or wear sleeves and compete against guys that are wearing wraps. Um, I thought I'd give it a go not wearing sleeves and it felt pretty crap. I think part of that is because I'm not feeling great anyway but um, I just don't feel very confident dropping. I drop really deep into the hole. I don't feel confident doing it without sleeves. It's probably more of a mental thing, but 
at the moment I'm kind of leaning towards just wearing sleeves and competing against guys wearing wraps. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, bench was pretty good. Bench actually felt the best it has done in a little while, so that was nice. And then uh, just did a little push workout, so some chest, shoulders and triceps. That felt uh, all pretty decent and I'm feeling pretty pumped. Now, I've just had my um, 30 grams of chocolate smooth whey. I also had my half litre of chocolate fudge moo milk in the gym, which I'm doing every day if you are unaware, just to get some easy calories in. Um, I'm now obviously around the corner from my house, so I'm gonna head uh, up now and then we'll crack open the muscle foods package and start thinking about dinner. Right, I'm home and here is my box. Now, um, rather than open it in a boring way, I'm going to demonstrate to you the most efficient way to open uh, a muscle food package, or if that you know, for that matter, any uh, kind of delivery. I can open this in literally one swipe. Uh, it is, you know, it's taken quite a while to perfect it, so bear that in mind if you try it at home. But uh, it goes a little bit like this. That was a joke, I obviously cannot open a massive box with one hit of a knife. And a disclaimer for you, if you just tried it yourself um, and you ended up stabbing yourself in the neck and dying, well that's just natural selection doing its bit. So um, anyway, let's have a look at the uh, contents of this bad boy. I hope I didn't do any lasting damage because I did actually stab it a couple of times. And if I puncture one of these bags, it's going to be awkward. Uh, this is just my... I said it before, this is my electrolyte gel. I mean, I never, it's weird, I never order this. I never order these uh, bags of electrolyte uh, energy gel, but I mean, they're always really good. They have a slight uh, chemical taste, and I have been to hospital about seven times with uh, poisoning, but I'm assuming that's probably unrelated, so I'll keep chugging those bad boys down. Um, what have we got? Oh my god, we've got bloody loads. So, what I'm gonna do actually, let's not spend three hours going through everything. Let's just do it the old. Fashioned way. Look at the size of that bit of fish. Jesus Christ. So we've got uh, smoked salmon. I don't even bloody like smoked salmon. That says has definitely asked for that. She'll be getting. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hide behind the door, like here, and then when she comes in, I'm just gonna be like in her face. Teach her a lesson. Um, what else have we got? We've got pork shoulder, about 50 kilos of chicken. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of chicken. How much is that? Two and a half kilos of chicken. I could like arm curl that. Um, we've got lamb, some more lamb, some passion fruit. That's pretty cool. The best uh, cheese in the world, aka halloumi. If you never tried it, slice it up, put it in the grill. It's literally the greatest thing uh, on the planet. Some feta, which is all right. I'm not a massive fan of feta. Mozzarella, again, it's okay. Definitely overshadowed by the halloumi. We got some beef, which is pretty handy for like sandwiches and stuff. Got loads of uh, prawns. These are pretty big, actually. I mean, if I was to stab that, if this was in accidentally hit in that knife accident, that would be a disaster because that would be leaking all over the place. So, thank God it hasn't been. Uh, some salmon, some sausages, some more sausages, some sweet potatoes, fry fries. They're really good. Although I'd order the thicker ones because the thin ones, when you cook them, come up really, really thin. Some more halloumi, um, and then some scallops, cod, and some more of my uh, favourite. Toxic uh, energy gel. Uh, so I'm gonna put some of this in the freezer, put some of it in the fridge. Um, I need to grab myself a oh, snack because we're not having dinner for a little while. So I'll have a banana and then probably, I know it's boring, but I'll have my go-to snack, some cashews. In fact, what I have as well, to make it more exciting, I'm gonna have Some Monster Claws, AKA all these crappy version of Monster Munch, pretty much as good as the original. Snack time is over, let's get going with some dinner prep. So, we're gonna have a bit of a fusion of flavors. Uh, because we have uh, some leftover stuff, um, and we have the addition of all the muscle food stuff. Uh, also, I forgot to say, uh, if you wanna buy any of their stuff, of course, use the link in my description. If you don't do that, I will uh, pull your uh, socks off and force them in your mouth, so that wouldn't be nice. Um, anyway, we're gonna have this. So we've got some leftover pizza from the other day. I'm gonna reheat that, and I'm gonna have that. 
which is like a like a meat feast, I guess, because there's loads of meat on it, and it's feast, so meat feast. Um, and then to go with that, the healthy uh, side, uh, which it says the influence is going to be some couscous that we had left over. With we've got some hummus as well, and then uh, like sticks and vegetables and stuff in there, and then we'll have the uh, diced leg lamb from Muscle Food. So I'll get this all together, and then I'll catch up with you when it's good to go. And here we go. So this is a couple of uh, laid-back lamb kebabs, no biggie, with some peppers and onion and stuff. And there's the couscous with some added uh, tomato, and then we've got a little side salad here with some dressing. I'm well dressed, the salad is well dressed, I'm assuming you're well dressed, so um, let's have a party. Got some hummus to have with it. The pizza BTW is in the oven, still heating up. Um, I've got impatient and I'm just gonna eat this now. Also I've got some avocado. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love avocado. It's so delicious, isn't it, Sarah? Mm -hmm. I'm joking. I uh, literally despise avocado. As far as I'm concerned, it is identical um, to eating Play-Doh. In fact, if I had my eyes closed and you just gave me a big sl slab of Play-Doh and I ate it, I'd be like, oh, avocado. I like, honestly don't know the difference. That's disgusting. Whoever decided that's a good idea to eat it should get should get a massive avocado just thrown in their face really, really hard. Uh, right, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to have the pizza. Uh, see you in a bit. I've showered, I'm clean, I'm wearing clean clothes. Well, I found them on the floor outside the house. They're not even mine, but I'm assuming they're clean. It says his mum's uh, partner's birthday it was his birthday yesterday so we're going to head up to their house and give him his present also going to give him this uh classy card that i made or that we made slimy 60 and sexy so i'm pretty sure can appreciate that um and maybe nothing exciting or of note that happens but if we drink or eat anything i will endeavor to show you and we are heading home and it's bloody late and I am bloody tired. Um, there was nothing really exciting to report. We just kind of hung out. I had some orange juice, which I showed you. Um, extra vitamin C, because like I said, I'm still not 100%. Uh, when we get home, I'm gonna have my protein, 30 grams away with five grams <coughs> of creatine uh, and whole milk. And then I'm gonna go to bed, because like I said, I'm tired. Am um, I still? Like I said, I am pretty much fine. I'm still not sleeping completely. Like I keep waking up in the night and like being just like sweating out. You know what I mean? So I feel I feel okay, but then I wake up and just be really really sweaty, and then it's like impeding my sleep. So hopefully tonight, fingers crossed, I'll be getting some uh, regular sleep. Anyway, that is going to conclude the video. So I really really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I don't need to give you uh, and don't need to issue any more warnings on that front. I think you understand that if you don't give it a thumbs up, there are pretty serious uh, repercussions. And I will see you tomorrow.